Lisa, they really were, and there are still tread marks in the grass from where first responders pulled that Ford Escape out of the canal, and pieces of the car like this one are scattered all around this lot. Now, it's hard enough to see where the road ends here at night, needless to say, in stormy weather, which is when this couple took the dive. Taking in water. Surely a miracle. And sinking to the bottom. That car was completely submerged. Both the driver and her husband safe, thanks to quick thinking from neighbors on Bayside Court. He was a little flustered and he was out of breath. Pearl and Terry Glenn jumped to action when they heard screams. Did you hear someone say help? And we, we both then went running outside to see, you know, what's going on. The couple found a man in distress who just escaped the sinking car, but his wife was still in the canal. There was, in fact, uh, a woman laying on the top of the car, and the car roof was probably three inches above the, uh, the surface of the water. The couple ended up in the water after rain blocked their view. They confused the driveway for a road that crossed the canal. Well, I could see where they would think that that was a road, especially if the visibility was really bad. Cape Coral firefighters quickly responded, towing the car back onto dry land. And neighbors say they were lucky to be around, possibly saving the couple from a deadly fate. And it was just lucky that people were around to call for help and, and assist in any way that they could. And I'm told that the man used a device, hammer-like device like this one, to smash that window to get out of that car, free himself and his wife. Now, it's always a good idea to have a device like this one in your glove compartment in case of actual emergencies. I'm live in Cape Coral tonight, Nestor Montoya, NBC2.